Welcome distinguished guests, members of the University Senior Management Committee, faculty representatives and graduates to the Northwest University's online virtual graduation ceremony for May 2021. We are honored to be here to commemorate this special moment with you and your loved ones. We understand that no virtual ceremony can ever replace an actual ceremony on your campus together with your fellow graduates as well as photo sessions. And exactly for this reason, we will do our best, if circumstances allow, to ensure that graduates be invited to a later event where we will be able to physically celebrate your milestone. As you enjoy this ceremony with us, we ask you to please share the journey you have taken to reach this big milestone, including the highlights along the way. In order to ensure that you have some experience of being on campus celebrating this big achievement, a special campaign was launched on the university's social media platforms, allowing you to virtually capture a moment in front of special landmarks across our campuses. Please follow us on our social media pages to ensure that you do not miss out on this opportunity. Please enjoy the event with us and celebrate it together with our graduates who realized their dreams. Remember, it all starts here. So 
on streams united flow Africa stands proud and tall As we learn, we trust, we know God is in control Bless us, O Lord Guide us with grace May Northwest be blessed always Bless us, O Lord Seal us to me By the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this meeting as a lawful congregation of the Northwest University. It is a great pleasure for the Northwest University to welcome the Chancellor of the University in this ceremony. Officiating in our ceremony is our Chancellor, Dr. Anamukhoko. And we also want to welcome in a very special way all dignitaries, members of council present, and uh, members of management present here. You are welcome. By the power vested in me, I hereby confer diplomas and degrees from 3rd May 2021 until 28th May 2021 on the candidates whose names appear in the program from the following faculties. Humanities, Deputy Chairperson of the Northwest University Council, Bert Sochtreger, and other council members, Vice Chancellor of the Northwest University, Professor Dan Huadi, and members of the university's senior management committee, members of the faculties, graduates, and your family and friends, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Dumelang, good morning, Kuyemore. Welcome to the class of 2020 on your graduation. Today is a very special day. It is the day that your degree is formally awarded. Your hard work rewarded. While we may not be able to celebrate in person, this moment should not pass without taking time to celebrate your hard earned success. The Northwest University is a place where students can achieve academic excellence and at the same time, unleash their imaginations, visualize their aspirations, and incubate future success. Campus life is geared to holistic growth and development, and students are encouraged to participate in a wide range of cultural, sports, counseling, and well being activities. The Northwest University offers more than just an education. We offer people a place in the world. Academically, students benefit from great choice and flexibility, enabling them to fulfill their potential and start preparing for their careers. The spirit of the university comes alive when we unlock the future for people and enable them to make their dreams come true. And this spirit runs through everything we do from our academic offerings and research to our student body, community engagement and sports achievements. For what you have achieved by completing your studies during a global pandemic is truly inspiring. I hope that your time at the Northwest University has been productive and fulfilling and that you will look back at it with fond memories. 
Today marks the culmination of years of hard work and commitment behind your studies. I am aware that many of you experience difficult circumstances in terms of health, financial hardship. Some of you have coped with significant additional responsibilities. Some also face bereavements in your families and all other challenges. All of you have faced social isolation and uncertainty, but you have persevered, and we are so proud of all that you have achieved. I hope you are watching this ceremony surrounded by your loved ones. Graduation is equally rewarding for those who have supported you throughout your time of study. Therefore, today is also a day to thank them for making it possible for you to succeed. You can with all honesty know that a qualification from the Northwest University carries international weight. You may be interested to learn that on the 26th of April 2021, the latest rankings of the Center for World University Rankings was again announced. In this, the Northwest University ranks in the top 4.7% out of 19,788 universities worldwide, according to the 2021-22 edition of the Global 2000 list by the Center for World University Rankings. The latest rankings by Times Higher Education, THE, World Rankings, and the 2021 Best Global University Rankings again, like previous rankings, recognize the good standing of the Northwest University among the best tertiary education institutions. As indicated, this is not only locally, but internationally, as measured in international rankings. One of these rankings, THE World Rankings, highlights the quality of its subject offerings, while the other one, the 2021 Best Global University Rankings, has placed the Northwest University among the cream of the crop of local universities. THE World Rankings announced their results by subject for 2021 on 28 October last year. These rankings cover 11 subject areas with performance in each area measured across four aspects. These aspects are teaching, research, knowledge transfer, and international outlook. In this process, the Northwest University was measured again against 1,512 universities globally. The university excelled in the clinical and health subjects, as well as in the law subject groups, and was placed globally in 201 to 250, and the 201 plus categories respectfully. It also shown in psychology, where it was ranked in the 301 to 400 categories. Furthermore, the Northwest University was ranked in the 401 plus category for arts and humanities, physical sciences, education, and engineering. Its social sciences offering was placed in the 501 to 600 category, followed by business and economics and life sciences, which were both ranked in the 601 plus category. The Northwest University has excelled among South African universities in various subject areas. It was third overall locally in engineering, psychology, and physical sciences, fourth in clinical and health sciences, and sixth with law and life sciences. The Northwest University was seventh with both business and economics and education, and eighth in arts and humanities and social sciences. The Northwest University was also one of only 13 South African universities to be included in the seventh annual US News and World Report's Best Global University Rankings for 2021. The Northwest University was ranked among the top seven universities in South Africa and named 564 on the list of the best universities globally. These rankings are produced to provide insight into how universities compare globally. The rankings include 
nearly 1,500 top tertiary education institutions across 86 countries. It takes into account the global and regional research reputation, publications, books, normalized citation impact, and total citations. Even though ranking is not a goal the university wants to pursue, it remains a cause for celebration when the Northwest University is ranked amongst the best. As I'm passionate about education, even before I was inaugurated as chancellor of the Northwest University at the end of 2019, I took interest, keen interest in what this university is doing. Not only with regard to it preparing students for the needs of the South African economy, but also as to how it's plowing knowledge and skills back into the various communities in which it operates and it, in which it serves. Sadly, COVID has stolen a whole year of my tenure. I feel cheated and robbed by COVID. A lot of initiatives I had in my mind, I've had to set aside till the pandemic abates. Let's pray to God that it abates totally and we can get back to our normal normal. A special word of congratulations to those of you that receive your degree with distinction and those who receive master's or doctoral degrees. Investing in education is something you cannot put a price tag on when it comes to your future. To quote a learned friend of mine, Rene Caroyal, open quote, education, is a passport to a more equal world." Close quote. Lon Waters, a well-known and highly respected educator said, an education institution is a building that has four walls with tomorrow inside. You, our graduates, are our future. You are our tomorrow. Congratulations on your achievement and more so Thank you for helping us to realize the dream of the Northwest University. To be an internationally recognized university in Africa, distinguished for engaged scholarship, social responsiveness, and an ethic of care. Thank you for dreaming and doing so with us. I also want to give my warmest thanks to the entire staff of the university for the outstanding work you do and for your positive attitude towards development even during these hard times. It would be remiss of me not to touch on some sen sensitive subject. And that is, please stay in touch with us. Remember where you come from. Be an active alumni of our university. Seek ways to promote it and consider ways of helping students and play an active role in shaping the future of our university. Be an integral part of your society out there and utilize these degrees with respect, with humility for impactful contribution as active citizens with integrity. I call this service to your nation, not only to yourself. Graduates, I hope that the Northwest University has instilled in you the appreciation of diversity and the resilience you need to succeed in changing an uncertain world. My wish is that you will go out there and use your expertise to imagine new possibilities, to make a worthwhile difference and make yourself proud, make your family proud, make the Northwest University proud and make South Africa proud. We are very much looking forward to seeing you in person at one of our future possible celebrations. In the meantime, I offer you my warmest congratulations and wish you all future success. After all, it all starts here and it has begun today. Thank you very much. Dear graduates, a graduation ceremony has so many powerful connotations. 
Graduates bid farewell to intimidating examinations, taxing projects and assignments. But your graduation ceremony also marks the beginning of your career with endless and exciting new opportunities. People tend to think that the field of humanities and STEM fields are totally different fields. However, a STEM without that beautiful flower is nothing but a STEM. Science might focus on how to fix problems, but humanities focus on why these problems need to be, to be fixed. And you cannot have how without the why. In other words, your humanities degree gives you the edge, especially in today's world of artificial intelligence and the fourth industrial revolution, where critical thinking skills are highly sought after. We live in an extremely complicated world and you have had to endure the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. But I believe we have equipped you with the necessary tools to explore and illuminate these challenges and the skills to create innovative solutions to them. These skills will, will undoubtedly make you uh, the preferred choice in the work environment. Today we celebrate our beautiful indigenous garden and I'm proud of each graduate we have produced. I'm excited to see what great and positive change you will make to the workforce, to the environment, the community, to South Africa and the world at large. Be part of the future, inspire positive change, bloom, it's your time, thank you.
Oindamolo Ibiola Ajahi. A stakeholder's perspective of reputation dimensions in selective service organizations. Tabo Godfrey McCorsey. Radio broadcasting and the quest for democratic participation on Motswedeng FM. Molelekwa Arthur Morole. An exploration of indigenous contraception among the Botswana of Nkhadi Mudire Molema District Municipality, Northwest Province, South Africa. Nkechi Cecilia Ubise Nmehile. Sexual behavior of immigrant youth and their access to reproductive health services in Hillbrow, South Africa. vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the Northwest University. <laughs>